Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to do a video here on conversion. I have done a video before, but here I'm going to show you a different method that you can use to convert from kilometers, meters, and centimeters. So the first thing that you need to memorize is to memorize that you write kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. But the kilometers also works with the kilogram or kiloliter. If they give you kiloliter, liter, centiliter, milliliter, you use the same principle. Right? These numbers here on top, they mean that if I have one kilometer, that will be equals to 1,000 meters. One meter will, will be equals to 100 centimeters. One centimeter will be equals to 10 millimeters. So we're going to use that for conversion. I'm going to use examples. But with our first example, they say we must convert 12 kilometers to meters. So when you get this kind of a question, the first thing that you must say, which unit is bigger? Which one is bigger? Is kilometers or meters? Kilometers are bigger than meters. Then you do one of that. You say one kilometer is equals to how many meters? Then you go to your chart. One kilometer is equals to a thousand meters. Then you write it like that. A thousand meters. Next step, you take what we are given. We are given 12 kilometers. Then you're going to write the 12 kilometers under kilometers. So this is a kilometer. So you're going to say 12 kilometers is equals to what do I want? I want meters. I don't know the meters, so I'm going to call them X, right? And then the next thing, you cross multiply. Cross multiplying, it means you're going to take that and multiply with that. You're going to say one kilometer multiplied by X. That will be X times one kilometer. Always start multiplying where you're going to get X. But if you do it the other way around, you're still going to get the correct answer. Then you equals two. Then you cross multiply this side. You have 1,000 meters multiplied by 12 kilometers. Okay, you are trying to solve for x. So you're going to divide whatever is with x so that we are left with x alone. So in this question, it's one kilometer. You say divide by one kilometer, divide by one kilometer. What you do on your left, you do on your right. So the one will cancel the one, the kilometer will cancel the kilometer, you'll be left with x. x is equals to the kilometer will cancel the kilometer. Then you have 1,000 meters times 12, that will be 12,000. And the only unit that's left is meters. So what does that mean? It means 12 kilometers is the same as 12,000 meters. This is how you convert. This is the first example. Let's look at another one. Okay, with this one, this example, we are required to convert between one millimeters to centimeters. Then you ask yourself, which unit is bigger, millimeter or centimeter? A centimeter is bigger than millimeter. So you're going to write one bigger one. Centimeter is equals to how many millimeters? Then you go to your diagram. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. So you write 10 millimeters. Then you go, same, same. What am I giving here? It's millimeters. So I'm going to write the millimeters under the millimeters. 21 millimeters. Then what am I required to, to find? I'm going to say x. Next step, you cross multiply. Multiply that and that. It's going to be x times 10 millimeters is equals to 1 centimeters times 21 millimeters. I want to leave the x alone. So what do I have to divide with? I have to divide by 10 millimeters. What I do on the left, I do on the right. Divide by 10 millimeters. Okay, the 10 cancel the 10. The millimeters cancel the millimeters. X is equals to the millimeters cancel the millimeters. Then now I have 1 times 21. Divide by. This line means divide. Then you divide that by 10. Then take your calculator, you say 21, divide by 10, then your answer is 2.1. The units that are left, the units will automatically be left for you, centimeters. So what does it mean? It means that 21 millimeters is the same as 2.1 centimeters. Just to get the last example. Right, our last example, we are asked to convert 19.75 inches to centimeters. In the question paper, they will give you this one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So what you first do, you write that in your book, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And then you write uh, same thing. 
19 inches. So here, I'm going to write 19.75 inches is equals to x, the centimeters we need to find. Then you cross multiply x times 1 inch is equals to 2.54 centimeters times 19.75 inch. Then we're going to leave x alone. Whatever is with x, we're going to divide with. Divide by 1 inch. What we do on the left, we do on the right. Divide by 1 inch. Then 1 cancel 1 inch, cancel inch. We're left with x is equal to right inch. We cancel inch. We're going to divide by 1. So we're going to take our calculator and say 2.54 multiplied by 19.75. Our answer is 50.165, the units that's left centimeters. This is how we do it. Now, why, why did I do this example? You, you see that it's not with centimeters and meters only. Any conversion you can convert using this method. As long as, as you know that you write the same under the same, you cross multiply, you divide whatever with x. You'll get conversion all the time. To get this concept, you need to practice. Conversion is in every paper. Paper one, you convert. Paper two, you convert. And those are easy marks. You need to practice, 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 and watch the video more, more, more than once. Thank you. Guys.